Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another great episode of Far Cry 5. I'm bringing you the final DLC expansion pack. If you didn't know, I do have past videos for this DLC. We're on part 3 of this beautiful goddamn... What's the word? I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but escape from the rooftop. I'm very excited to see what happens. Hope you guys are as well. This is very funny and stupid at the same time, but it's zombies, so you know I'm going to play it. You know I'm going to have a great time. Let's just hop right into it. I wonder if they're ever going to get rid of loading screens. Probably in the future. Probably 100 years from now, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully in my lifetime. Look, standard action movies aren't cool anymore. Who are you? Get off my yacht. <laughs> you and I should make a brand where movies, books, musicals, clothing, mouthwash, you name it, are all connected in a cool way. Security will be here in a minute. That's all I need. It's the Guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe, and it all starts with one movie. Picture this. It's the year 2080. The world as we know it has been completely overrun by the living dead. Civilization has taken to the skies. For all that remains below is hell on earth. Those who've survived find themselves amidst a new war. One between the militia, our good guys, and the vultures. A street gang. Um, no, wait, it's uh, like, uh, like a rooftop gang. Vying for control of the new world. Sky world. Tensions have risen between the two factions. The body counts have doubled, which only serves to feed and strengthen the zombie population. The only way to ensure a future is through peace. Will the two sides come to an agreement, or will zombies attack? <laughs> Ooh, damn. <laughs> Escape from the rooftop. <laughs> Let's do this. Our hero is the last man standing. I like the setup. This can be an allegory. Ha, <laughs> it's gonna be allegory, all right. <laughs> so, our hero's gonna fight off like a million zombies. A million? While the chopper's swinging back around. Yeah! No, no. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Where are you going? Oh god. So far, I feel this lacks the courage to say anything about any real problems. The real problem I'm addressing is entertainment. Think about it.
Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, back it up. Picturing it correctly, it's just carnage. What are you trying to say here? You have a message? Yeah, my message is, hey audience, thanks for the cash. Look at this cool shit and forget about your worthless life for two hours. All right, that's enough zombies. What's next? What's next? A fucking high-powered machine gun? Maybe you can say something about guns. I am! I I'm gonna say no other movie has ever made shooting up zombies look this fucking cool! <laughs> Sprinkle a couple of zombies here! And then, the walking dead come in! Ah, fuck, I mean, I, ah, I can't say that because of copyright! Fucking lawyers can't let you do anything these days! Ah! Oh no. I'm guessing something happens here. After the machine gun, the chopper lands. No, 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 not yet. I can't land! The radar's picking up something heading your way! And then, just when we think things can't get any worse, up from the air vents comes Zombie Wolverine! You know, you could address the polarizing nature of climate change. Nah, 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 nah. What I am doing here is setting up the third sequel, The Rise of the Wolverine King. <laughs> and then I want to, I like, do this pyrotechnics for the sequence. So, like, let's give the hero a flamethrower. Like, all-American, lycanthropic barbecue, baby! <laughs> We're finished with the Wolverines and the Chopper lands, right? Oh shit! You got more hostiles inbound! Seriously? <laughs> it's the Vultures! Our rooftop gang! I mean, since there's no zombies around, they blame our hero for the massacre! You kill their people! Waste them! Oh man. Kill the chosen one. I'm sorry, what now? See, our hero is the chosen one. And that's going to pay off in like a six spin-off slash sequel, The Age of the Chosen Ones, Civil War Part 1. <laughs> Civil War. I like it. What is that? Oh, he's just down, I guess. Bad 
To the sequel. You're ending this on a sequel? There is more! The Guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe has like 50, 60 years worth of movies. Easy. I got outlines. I'll pass. At this point in my career, I want to do something with more substance. Come on! You're telling me that cool isn't a substance. I'm telling you to start swimming. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Killer climate. Hey, that's what we're doing next, folks. So please tune in to find out what the hell that means, because I have no clue. And uh, damn, she's just munching down on that goat. Poor goat. I wonder if she's eating the hair too. Probably not. Just straight the meat. Yeah, I would, I would assume just all the meat. I don't know. Um, please let me know what you guys think of this DLC so far. It is kind of weird, kind of stupid, kind of eh. You know, I don't know. Could have done better, I guess. I was, I was expecting more of a huge zombie story, huge turnout like they did on Lost on Mars. Tune in next time because that's what I'm probably going to do on the next series after I finish this DLC. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you made it this far in the video. And like I always say, folks, please tune in next time for another goddamn great goddamn experience. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And 